gotta be the man! You gotta beat the man! This is my yard now. I will fight anyone and everyone. Here he comes! Where is he? Cut this shot! Your arms are just too short to box with God. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Future Heels Podcast. What? What? What was that noise? <laughs> it was uh, my squeaky brakes. Yeah, why did you... What? You just derailed this whole intro. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Future Heels Podcast. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> are you trying to be a DJ? You already got rid of on. your turntables. Putting the brakes on. Why are you putting the brakes on? Continue. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Future Heels. You done? Yeah, I think so. I am best in the realm. This is... Brian, Brian, man, Peacock. And we're here with a wrestling podcast. Well, we're going to talk a little bit about wrestling, but this one's going to be different. That's why I was putting the brakes on. Well, it's still a Future Heels as of now. We haven't come up with a name yet. That's why it was a squeaky break. Uh, you know what? Tell us a name. What would be a good nerdy podcast name? Oh, don't do that. Why? First person to comment... Podcast. No. no, listen. The first person to co- comment, podcast gets a free sticker. All right. <laughs> I'm get, okay with gets that. A hand, gets a handful of stickers because. I'm not going to put that in the thing either. No, don't do that. You have to listen. And it's a secret. To, it's a secret. So if you're listening, <laughs> go ahead and put that down there. And everyone's going to be like, what the heck is that about? Let me go listen. Just and remember then, keep a secret, keep it safe. Hell Hydra. What? <laughs> No, you yell Hill Hydra. <laughs> no, I, I love the uh, when they go in for handshakes. It's just Hill Hydra. I just imagine that's when who goes in for handshakes. The president. <laughs> <laughs> you say this like it's a normal thing that people do. No, that. it was in one of the movies. Um, Captain America. Mm, I think so. In case you haven't guessed it, this is gonna be the Future Heels podcast with a nerdy twist. We we had a nerdy day today. We put our putting our glasses on i don't have glasses. spectacles on that's just you you've got your virtual spectacles on i don't have my vr goggles on nope i don't have my fpv goggles on either that would be pretty funny for me to do a whole podcast with a vr headset on and i'm just wearing my fpv goggles yeah i can't see anything so <laughs> no my drone's off we're doing it <laughs> no it wouldn't make any sense we can uh, say we're doing yeah. it we are doing it there we're doing it i'm putting my vr headset on right now and i have my no i don't Because then I couldn't build this. Hold on, we'll get to that. I was trying to give you a segue. Uh, Well, we're going to talk about wrestling for a minute. Are we going to talk about segues? Up in Crystal River. Gregway! That's a kind of funny reference. Go ahead. I don't get it. (laughs) No, up in Crystal River, you can take segway tours. You have to wear, like, a safety vest. Where? I forget where Who the fuck's taking tours of Crystal River? People. Tourists. This is a big tourist place. If you, like... But what is there a tour? On a Segway? I don't know. But there's Segway tours. You have to wear a helmet and a safety vest. That's incredible. And it's probably like 30 something dollars. It's probably more than that. Probably. If it, if it was like 10 bucks, I think I would do it. People don't come to Crystal River and take a tour. Do it. No. Yeah, bring your money here. What, they're $30? That's not going to help anybody. I don't care. It's... Come here. Come here. Don't go to the fucking Segway tour. They're scamming you. There's nothing else. There's nothing to take a tour of here. You want to go see the manatees? Get on a Segway. Doesn't Spoiler. Can't see a manatee on a Segway. Oh, you could. Maybe. Yeah. If this, you were at the Homeless House of the Wildlife Park. This is a really local topic. I thought podcasts were supposed to be localized. No, that's just the Rooster Teeth podcast. Can I talk about how terrible my neighbors are? Go ahead. <laughs> or the trash pickup days are ridiculous. In the HOA around here. What the I fuck just... was in that candy? <laughs> You're all fucking weird today. Because we passed midnight. We did. You can't, you can't, I'm like a, I'm like a gremlin, you can't feed me past midnight. Or have you up past midnight? That's Saturday. Doesn't matter. One, right. But one, I will get to a point, and my roommates used to keep me up on purpose. I'll Told get to a right. point, but I'll just turn into the biggest fucking dick. And apparently it's hilarious, and I don't know when it happens, <laughs> but it will. Hopefully it doesn't happen during the podcast. 
Yeah. So we'll get good numbers. To get to the wrestling, the quick we're gonna do a quick wrestling thing here. I don't remember Raw and SmackDown. Other than Kevin Owens lost the fucking U.S. Championship for some stupid fucking fuck fuck reason. I don't remember because I didn't watch it. I don't and give I'm, a shit right now. We're not gonna bring it up. Um, I I am sorry I missed the NXT though. Which yeah, I'll I can't probably wait to go watch back that. and watch. I'm that I'm busy watch. all week. I was busy editing videos for the Best in the Realm. And YouTube I channel. was busy too. Uh, we did watch the What Culture Pro Wrestling um, U.S. qualifier. We did, and the rest of the world qualifier, which you didn't even know about. <laughs> I had no idea that was a thing. I'm glad it was. It makes sense. Yeah, I expected to. For some reason, I really, really thought there'd be someone from Brazil. I don't know why. Was it Angelico? Or Puerto Rico. Where was Angelico from? South Africa. Oh, really? I thought he was from... Okay. No, like, why wasn't there someone from Puerto Rico? They, there are plenty. Because Port- Re- I know for a fact wrestling's huge in Puerto Rico. Yeah. So They could have got Carlito. That would have been cool. Yeah. I don't know. They just they got as many big names as they could. And uh, I feel like both shows had pretty big names... There were guys that we didn't know in the rest of the world qualifier. Yeah, most of them, really. But they were really good. Yeah, it was a good show. Like, if you want to discover some new awesome wrestlers, go watch that. Idiot, we still need to watch the German one. Yep, that's the last one we need to watch. We seem to have missed that. We have until August 23rd. We've misplaced the German qualifier. (laughs) (laughs) It's on their Uh, website somewhere. Or YouTube or something. It's on there. August the 23rd internet. is... That must be the finals, right? I think so. I don't know. They didn't really say. Maybe it's just uh, the next round. I think it might just be the next round. But uh, there are some pretty great matches. Uh, Joe Coffey is going to be incredible. Oh, yeah. Uh, Kenny Williams versus... Uh, Kushida. Kushida. Gimmick versus gimmick. Yeah. That finally, can't wait to see. I was pretty pissed off they didn't do anything with them at the Japanese tournament. And you had said, like, well, wait for the next round. And sure enough, yeah. there they fucking are. And then, um, who's Ricochet fighting again? Uh, is he not fighting Rick, uh, Keith Lee? That was, he... the, that was the semifinal in the qualifier. Or, no, that was oh, the... Oh, that's right. Yeah. Keith Lee got... Uh, I'm just in denial. Yeah. He really lost. <laughs> Ricochet is facing, I don't remember. It's someone ridiculous. This is a good matchup. All of them are very, very good matchups. The U.S. qualifier just cemented the fact that I love Keith Lee and Ricochet. Yeah. Um, Matt Keith Seidel Lee? was awesome. Keith Lee doing his promo in his Dragon Ball Z shirt. Yeah, that was pretty amazing. And I didn't get to see the spirit bomb. Yeah, I don't even know what that is. I want to know. I can only imagine it's like a jack uh, jackknife powerbomb. He did that, though. He did a jackknife sit-down powerbomb. That could be the spirit bomb. It could have been. They just didn't call it. Yeah. But I can only imagine that's probably what it is. Most likely. So, go watch. Good. The U.S. qualifier was particularly fun because we know who those guys were. Except David Starr, who, yeah. again, was another one I love now. David Starr, the Daenerys Targaryen of pro wrestling. He had way too many fucking names. Which is great. I love it. Dude was beyond entertaining. Yeah. The Jew. He had like 20 other names. Uh, the main event. Uh, uh, Mr. 104 or the 104 Minute Man. What does that mean? Something. Oh, yeah, 104 Minute Man. He probably had a 104 Minute Match he, he sometime. Must have. There, there's too many to remember. Uh, oh, the cream in your coffee. Your <laughs> professional wrestler's favorite pro wrestler. That's a good one. So, yeah. I like the cream in your coffee for some reason. I don't even drink coffee. Oh, and actually my favorite thing about him, before we wrap up here, is his logo. His logo, yeah. Is the YouTube play button, but with an S intertwined in it, and it makes the, the star of David. And the, the play button was also kind of like a D. Yeah, I guess it was. Yeah, D, yes, David Starr. That, that's... And then... Wow! It wasn't until hit the next round... So obviously he moved on. Spoiler. Um, Good job. Well, we already spoiled Ricochet yeah. deeply. Um, but it wasn't until the next, his next match where I'm like, oh, David Starr. Star of David. Gotcha. Yep. Yeah, I didn't catch that at first. Also, slightly preoccupied. 
Yes. But that's okay. Like I am now. So if I go silent, you know I don't why? just wrap that yet. Because we're star- still talking about wrestling. You're going to uh, pretend this is a wrestling podcast. You had another wrestling thing you wanted to talk about with Marty Skrull. Oh, yeah. Marty Skrull has some shoes coming out. I think they're going to be in Hot Topic, if not at least on ProWrestlingTees.com. Yeah, that will probably go to ProWrestlingTees. Anyone want to support the show and send me a pair? Or, you know, go on to the Patreon best on Best in the Realm and support us there. Yeah, but that's not going to get me a new pair of shoes. If there's enough Patreon money there, I will buy you a pair of shoes. Yeah, but if they just send me a pair of shoes, I'll have a pair of shoes. Um, go ahead and make them a uh, ten and a half size, ten and a half, maybe eleven in stock. If it doesn't fit, I, I'll take them in. I'll switch them out. Go to Patreon.com/slash Best in the Realm and I'll buy them a pair of stupid shoes. I should make that one of my uh, goals. On Marty, there. get me a pair of Marty Skrull <laughs> shoes. Get Brian Man a pair of Marty Skrull shoes. I think I'm gonna do that. Remind me to, to do that. Later. We don't have a PO box, but uh. PM us. We'll give you, <laughs> get I'll give address. you my address. I don't care. Just tell me you're sending me shoes. Yeah, that, that'll give my work address. There you go. Okay. I'm not putting that out right now. That's a bad idea. <laughs> done. Uh, you done with the shoes? <laughs> I do want to put the shoes on right you're now. You're just like mega rant, right? <laughs> I told you it's past twelve. All right. So it's the- content. I'm going to throw this 4K at you. Uh, don't so, throw cutlery at me. Just so everyone knows, I am starting a new series. It started yesterday. Uh, me. And, well, I, I use English wrong. Don, Neoden, Michael, Grimm. Uh, shy guy who you guys are not familiar with, but he has been around for a while. I am not familiar. You're not familiar with any of them. You're right. Um, and myself. I think I met one of them once. Nope. Didn't Don Yeah, no, yeah, Don school? did come to the wrestling school, and he, yeah. and he twisted his ankle getting out of the ring. Yep, so I'm familiar with one. Yep. Uh, we are playing Ark Survival Evolved. That series started yesterday. Uh, you just got to look up on YouTube, introducing the Pooh Fighters, because that's who we are. Um, also, the division with three idiots continues. Uh, I just want to point out I am not part of that. No, but you should be. No, thanks. You could be. I'm good. Tame dinos and build things, and I'm I'm going to be building a lot of things. Nope. I work enough. That series is going to be great. I'm very excited to continue that. So, me and Brian Man went on an adventure today. Adventure time! No. I don't like Adventure Time, No, no. No, no one likes Adventure Time except children. Oh, people do. People Uh, love it. Children. People love it. Children. That's we, a Akbar uh, reference for anyone a what? who listens to an Orlando radio station between <laughs> three and. Again, we're going fucking local. Well, we are going local. Orlando's with this. A, uh, it's not real local for us. Anyone can listen to them um, on iHeartRadio. Why aren't we on iHeartRadio? Because we're not a radio station. Podcasts are on there though. I don't know. They won't let me on. I asked. bad podcast like bad podcasts. Like I've listened to a lot of them. Yeah, uh, there's hardly any good ones. There. Damn. Not to call anyone out, but I, I don't like any of the wrestling ones on there. Huh. Okay. Sorry if you got a wrestling podcast on there, but I was not a fan. Because you guys did kind of what we're doing right now, and just plugging the shit out of everything else we're doing. But <laughs> I'm the only one doing that, so it's not my fault. So we're making a vlog. Um, I was looking at the footage. I don't know how much of it's going to be salvageable. We can't call um, it the vloggity, can we? The vloggity? That's taken. That's a Philip Franco thing. Yeah. So no. Oh. It's just, uh, I don't know what it's called. It's just not called anything right now. More names. We do. We need so, more a- acronyms for, or not acronyms, antonyms, no, synonyms for villain. Yeah. You already have heels. I, we, we almost called the podcast Future Nerds, but... Bad guys. Bad... <laughs> we are the bad guys. So we went to... T- I'm going to start I, looking up some stuff. What are you looking up? A name. Oh, okay. Uh, we went to Tampa because last week, Brian got me into Gundam. 
Which is something that we also discovered I have repressed Gundam memories, because I remember lots of things well, from the old let's, anime. Let's start the beginning. Start the beginning. Go back to the beginning. Obviously, if you're listening, you probably watched Gundam, Gundam Wing, Why? and Toonami. Why? It's they're, they're listening to a wrestling podcast, and you assume they watch Gundam? Yeah, I'm assuming they watch cartoons at one Are you going to also assume their gender? Um, you can never assume gender. Right. Or age. <laughs> Alright, continue. Um, but I was added to, this is one thing you don't like on Facebook, that you can just add people to groups. Yeah, it's bullshit. I don't mind it. But I was force added into a group for uh, Citrus County Gundam Collectors. They're going to find us so easy. Huh? <laughs> Fans. Oh, our rabbit fans. If you find us, add us. PM us. Send me shoes. Um, I think I have enough shoes, but I don't have those, and I need them. Hashtag send me shoes. I'm wearing socks because I don't have shoes. I have shoes. I have a bunch of shoes. Just I have more shoes than a guy point. should have. So I was added to a group, and I was like, you know what? I just started drone racing. Don't need another hobby. I was telling one of my other friends who may or may not even exist because he refuses to come on the podcast and do anything yeah. um, about it. And he's like, you know what? It sounds like you're trying really hard not to get this hobby started. I was like, no, it's just a pastime. He's like, uh-huh, sure. And then I showed Best in the, the um, some video because I don't think I had one yet. No. Or did no. I? No, you did. Race in Tampa. And I was like, the night before, I was like, what else can I do while I'm down there? Because it's going to rain and it might get rained out. I was like, let's see Gundam in Tampa. And there's a shop in Tampa, or actually Oldsmar, called Gundam from Japan. Guess what they have in their shop? You'll never figure it out. Gundam from Japan. <laughs> so I stopped in there. I only had like 10 minutes, so I had to be quick. But the owner was pretty cool. Uh, seemed like a really cool place. They had tables set up to build. Um, and it seemed like it had a really cool community base down there, which I thought was great. Which is one thing I was excited to find in the drone racing community, too. Just the community of people is really, really just awesome. So I came, I bought a kit, and I did a little vlog, and I, it may or may not go up. And I even, I point we're just, out... We're not sure about vlogs on this channel. <laughs> yep, very unsure. But I have a vlog where I show the uh, the kit that I got, and I say that I'm not even going to tell Jacob about this, because I'm going to get shitty already. Yep. And uh, so I came back, and I, I showed him the kit, and I was, I was... I don't remember if I was working on it, or I just got it, but you seemed fairly interested... Yeah. And then I think you came back Monday. We were going to record a podcast. And we ended up just watching a bunch of Gundam stuff. Right. We were going to do this podcast. This one right here. And, um... What is your Twitter handle? At Bryman25. Why can't I not pull that up? Because I don't use it very much. And they're like, this guy doesn't need a fucking Twitter. There it is. All right. Like, get, them, get this guy off here. Someone else needs that handle. Anyone need to buy the handle? I'll sell it. Got it. <laughs> um, there's a skater, Brian Peacock. Oh, Maybe right. Maybe he needs it for nothing. But anyway, we were talking about, well, we need to go back down to Tampa. And I was like, ah, I don't know. I was just down there. It's like an hour and a half drive for us. Y yes, you guys will be able to pinpoint our <laughs> exact position eventually. Yeah, eventually. <laughs> Give them a lot of information. Um... So I turn off at this street to get to the highway. And so we decide we're going to go down there uh, this weekend. And as weekend rolls around, we take our little road trip down there. It's, like you said, about an hour and a half. Pretty long drive just to go get a kit. Yeah. And um, Also hang out. Yeah, we decide we're going to hang out and start building. I knew I wasn't going to finish because I take forever. I sand and polish every piece, even if it's one of the little rubber pieces. So it takes me three days to build 
a high grade kit, which is like the standard entry level kit. God forbid you ever get a master grade or something. That would take me years to, because I would want everything absolutely perfect as I'm building it, or a perfect grade. From what I understand, those are even more intense. Tons and tons of parts. Yeah, and it looked like, because that one, that giant... No, the giant one wasn't a perfect grade, was it? It was a high grade. Yeah, the one in the center of the store. There is a giant Gundam in the center of the store that is apparently piloted by a Gundam. Yeah. What the hell? Oh, also, we should probably point out, we haven't seen Gundam. <laughs> well, I we've, we've seen, seen some. We've watched... We've had the stuff as a kid that was on Toonami. Which, yeah, I need to rewatch. Which was a long, long time ago. And apparently repressed for me. And we've watched... I've watched all of the first season of Iron-Blooded Orphan. You've seen the first episode. Really, really enjoyed it. Um, it will get worse before it gets better. Okay. But it will get really good towards the end. Are you talking about Gundam or Wrestling? <laughs> I don't know where wrestling. I think right I'm now. fine. Like this is uh, this is just how wrestling is. So Iron Blood and Orphans will be fine. <laughs> I'll be able to get through it just fine. Uh, we also watched Gundam Thunderbolt December Sky. Yep. Which fucking weird. I've watched a hand like t- two or three times now, and I, I as I watch it more, I like it more and more. Uh, I haven't seen anime in a long time, so it's it's taken me some time get to get used to watching it. Did you guys watch a shitload of Inuyasha? She did. Oh, My fiance watched it. I didn't really care. Did Only thing I here? did you like zone out? Yeah, I do other things. Like, okay. <laughs> but only thing I know about Inuyasha is uh, the robot chicken sketch. You'd the... watch one Inuyasha episode. You've seen them all. Yeah, that's what it seemed like. Oh yeah, Jess isn't here. God. Yeah. <laughs> that is from the robot chicken episode where the there's like a daughter watching it and dad's like, oh, what is this? And it's like, then it shows them eating dinner. And he's like, I'm pretending I'm eating demons. So far into it, so her, his daughter would hate it so she wouldn't watch it anymore. <laughs> oh, That's cool. awesome. And then moves on to doing like, and then like she picks a new show and he starts doing the same thing. I love robot chicken. Me too, that's one show I do really like on Adult Swim. Trying to make sure my cat doesn't eat my super glue. Yeah, that's a good idea. We've been building Gundams today. Yep. We, we went to the Gundam store. I bought, uh, uh, oh my god, Zaku. Shit, what's his name? Where's your box? He's over there. I think it might just be a regular Zaku, but it's the one from Iron Blooded Orphans. It's the first one you see. Oh no, that's not a Zaku. Huh? It's not a Zaku. Zaku's You're gonna own. make me get up and get it. No, I can tell you. Give me a second. Uh, it sounds like a different word. Zeon? No, someone's screaming at us right now. Um, oh. No, don't get it. Don't get it. Don't get it. I'll tell you. Um, oh. I know this. I know this. Hmm. Oh, if you tell me, I'm gonna be so pissed. Yeah, you're right. What letter does it start with? G. Someone's screaming. Like, it's this! What do cows do? Oh, it's grays. Yeah. <laughs> and the whole time I'm watching it, like, the word... Oh, fuck, I want to return it now! Huh? It's not a Zaku! No, it's a grays. But the whole time I'm watching it, when they say grays, it's G-R-A-Z-E. Yeah? But I'm thinking the color. Oh. I think they're calling it the color grays. And they're not gray. I mean, they're olive drab, green, yeah. like, military That's color. why I thought they were Zaku. But they're, they're gray. They're not gray. But I'm like, because they, like, aliens, like, some people call aliens grays. So how fucking stupid do I look calling that thing a Zaku a few times at that store? It's like a new modern Zaku, sort of. Yeah, it was just like, he pronounced that one Zaku goof instead of galf. Oh yeah, goof. I, it should be galf. <laughs> it should be galf. <laughs> well, we're not Japanese, so we don't get to choose. It's galf, I'm changing it. It's official, I'm changing goof. it. Goof. So I got the Grays. Uh, he's mostly built. 
Um, I just have to do, I have half the leg and another leg to build, and then that backpack thing. Um, I bought a Zaku Sniper off of Amazon. That's definitely a Zaku. Um, I, I love the Zaku stuff. Yeah, now that I watched, uh, Thunderbolt, I kind of want some now, too. But, because I found a game called Gundam Skirmish to play on a tabletop, like, tabletop Warhammer style, I'm gonna let you go ahead and build your gray, your, uh, Greys and Zaku army if you want. Yeah. And then I'm gonna get, I want Z the Zaku one from Thunderbolt. The orange one. Not orange. Yellow one. The one with the funky head? Did it have a weird head? Well, there's the Zaku that's just kind of a domed head, and there's the other guy who had, like, four a horizontal diagonal thing. Oh, not that one. I do want that oh, one, okay. too. The uh, Doom type, I think it's called? I think it's called the Doom type? I don't know. Psycho Zaku? No, because that was the red one he got to pilot towards the end. Yeah. We have a giant screen we do. in front of us that I can pull this up. Uh, I also got a, what do you call it, a SD, yeah. super deformed, of the Sananju, because it's one that I very much plan on buying one day. The red, black, and gold color scheme is, oh my god, how lovely. I love it was it. only $34, wasn't it? Oh, the, the, the other one? one? Yeah. Okay. Which is more than what I, what I wanted to spend today. Yeah, I didn't want to spend like today, like that's that was my thing. I didn't want to spend a whole lot. Yeah, my plan today was to get one of the lesser Zaku type pieces and get uh, something cute for Kimberly, which I did get. Uh, what are these called? Uh, bear guys. Bear guys, really? That's yeah. what they're called. Yeah. I got a petite guy, pretty in pink and petite, petite guy. <laughs> what it's called. What a lovely name. That's just an adorable pink bear holding an adorable pink bear. Is that it? You got yeah. it pulled up there? That second one, that's the Psycho Zaku. Yeah. Got a giant rocket pack. That's what I was got a thing on his back. Oh, like a okay. rocket, like a tube thing. Yeah, that was the Psycho, Z Psycho God, Zaku that from thing. the Thunderbolt movie. MG, oh, what is that? Medium grade? Master grade. Master he, grade. The guy kept saying medium grade, but it's master grade. Okay. Because that confuse the shit out of me. I didn't want to correct him because he's been building a lot longer You than should me. correct people when they're wrong. Eh. I just corrected you because anybody. you're wrong. It didn't hurt anybody. <laughs> but, yeah, I think that these are is awesome. Doom types. The that guy? ZGMF XX09T. Yeah, sure. Yeah. What I think it's cool. I, I like that style Zaku. And let me find the Zaku one. He's got big shoulder pieces. Is that it? Not quite. I like the double cannon. The desert Zaku. That is yeah. cool, though. So, yeah, we saw a lot of different types of stuff. Um, I actually, I like the SD stuff a lot more than I thought it would. Like, I, I want some of those. I only want, want like... Death Scythe. Yeah? Yeah. I like the Zaku guys. There's also a Zaku, I can't think of the name right now. He's a big hammer. He's like a little stumpy Zaku. I very much want to get that guy. He's a full size, not a full size, but he's not an SD. Are you talking about the ones with like the dome heads and like the claws? Well, I want those, but no, that other, there's that guy with the, the hammer. Oh, that was also from Iron Blood and Orphans, wasn't it? I think so. I don't think they have Zaku's in Iron Blood Orphans. Is he a Graze? Maybe. It's on my Amazon wish list. Okay. I'll look. Here is the picture of the Zaku one I'm talking that about. That is really cool. And it looks almost like it's a construction worker because it's got the yellow and okay. black stripes. And That's probably a sticker, right? Uh, it is, but I was looking at it and it's um, scribed in so it could be painted. So I would definitely paint that. Interesting. The thing I don't like are these little circle booster things right here. Sure. That he has them on his legs and on his chest and like that's how he would direct himself through space. Uh, oh, th okay, those are sense. stickers. But they're also molded. So those could be painted as well. Well that's just like my uh my Grace's eye is molded, but it is also a sticker. I probably would have painted it then. 
Well, I can take that sticker off easily. Yeah. It didn't go on that well. I think it's on pretty good now. Yeah, I, I try to use as little stickers as I can so far. They are little stickers, so you're probably doing a good job. Yeah, they are little. Uh, I want to get the origin Zaku. See, there, I got a whole list of stuff here. You know, I'm, I'm not putting a list together, so I'm trying not to make this a thing, but my room is, my living room is full of Gundams, and I have a Gundam hanger diorama I'm building that's over there on my kitchen table, so it's become a thing. Yeah, it's becoming a thing. And You're I, right, he's I, not a, a Zaku. He's no. just a Gushin. Gusian. Gujan? Gujan. Gujan. I think it's Gujan. It's like fusion, but Gujan. I think G. it's Gujan. He's just a little stumpy guy with a big hammer, and he just he, he it hammers me. He hammers. Yeah. Stop. He's MC Hammer. Hammer time. That's right. That I have to make. I have to get him now, so I can put a little <laughs> sign on him that says that. Stop. Hammer time. I'll get him, and then I'll get one of the cute bears with the signs. There you go. It'll be like uh, I'll make a pro wrestling diorama, and <laughs> he'll be the manager. <laughs> Bring it all back to pro wrestling somehow. Because this is a wrestling podcast that's not. Yep, yeah, today's a special edition. In case you didn't know that yet. Um, yeah. This should be... Who the hell starts in the middle of a podcast? This what are you sh- doing? Go back to the beginning! This should be labeled something so people know. No. It's going to be a surprise. <laughs> oh, I don't think anyone's going to know that. No, it's not going to be a surprise because I have to market the goddamn to listen. So anyway, Nerds. that's what that's what you ordered or bought. Yeah. I bought the Tri Burning Gundam from Which Build is Fighters. Sick. It is amazing. Uh, it's got a. I bought it because I had a bunch of blue transparent pieces on the shoulders and arms and everywhere else. And I was like, oh, this is gonna be cool. It's gonna be a challenge to keep the translucent blue pieces clean. Yeah. Which is what I was excited to try. Uh, and then yeah. as as I oh. Yeah, Try Burning Gundam. Uh, and yet, I have not seen Build Fighters, really. We saw part of an episode or something. I don't think I'm going to like it, just because it's kind of... It's kind of goofy, kind of yeah. Beyblades-like. I like the war stuff a lot more. Of uh, Me too, but sometimes I like goofy. Like, I'm probably the only person who likes Teen Titans Go. Yep. Everybody fucking hates it. I think it's great. I think it's funny. I haven't actually watched it. It's funny. <laughs> like, it's legitimately funny. Like, I think everyone was like, oh, we're getting a new Teen Titans, it's going to be amazing. And did not made, look into it. The, yeah, no, I think they made it look like we're getting n- new seasons of Teen Titan. Oh, well, I looked at it, I was like, I saw the animation, I'm like, alright, this is going to be a funny show. And I watched it, and I was like, oh, fuck, yeah, this is a funny show. And everyone's like, oh, fuck Teen Titans Go. I'm like, well, have you watched it? Because it's hilarious. Do, do they still use the same theme song? Um, it says Teen Titans Go in the theme song. <laughs> I don't remember. I haven't they seen it in a little bit. Plan forever. Yeah, <laughs> right from the beginning. They were preparing us. But yeah, like, and I guess there's there's been some promo photos mm. of like the original Teen Titans beating up the Teen Titans Go <laughs> characters. I don't know. I think Teen Titans Go is great. Teen, um, build fighters, just because I kind of like it. I kind of like I like Beyblades. Like I get it. I'm like, looking forward to watching Iron Blooded Orphans. I have a stack of Beyblades over there I haven't even opened yet on top of the the clear, the crystal clear, immaculate case of Beyblades I have out in the garage. Where is that? Crystal clear, immaculate case? What are you talking about? Yeah, like if I opened it up, you would expect like light to be shining out of the case. No, because You haven't Beyblades. seen my Beyblades? No, I, I don't couldn't care less about Beyblades. They're incredible. It's one of my favorite games. Like, for real. Like, dreidel, dreidel, dreidel. David Starr like dreidels. Hey, I was Jewish once, so I can That's do right. that. Don't even... Don't. I think I already <laughs> went over it. But Maybe. anyway, so I, I can bought... I find that podcast. I bought... I'm like, what are all orange pieces? And I flip it over, it's like, try burning Gundam with burning battle effects. So he's like on fire and he's using his fire powers and stuff. I'm like, oh... This is awesome! And it was the same price as the regular Burning Gundam with no translucent effects or anything else. I don't know what the difference is in the model, but I was like, this is awesome. I hope no one ever takes that title literally and is like, alright, throws it in the fire. Try burning the Gundam. (laughs) 
And then I bought... Oh... Petite guy, future pink, uh, bear guy, high grade, one forty fourth scale. I want a master grade. <laughs> Petite bear guy, and um, I got this to either build with my daughter or give to my fiance, so she doesn't hate me as much. Or build it with your daughter, you give it to your fiance. Be from both of you. There we go. Perfect. Heard it here first, guys. That's how you do it. Spend money on shit they're not even going to like and then give it to them anyway. That's what I did, too. <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't know. If she wants to build it, great. I don't know if my daughter is too little to build it. It doesn't look like there's many pieces. Yeah, that's what I I'm don't know. It was cheap. six ninety nine. So, not a big deal. Uh, my tri burning Gundam... Uh, I'm building as we're recording. I'm working on the left arm. Right arm's completed. And then I'm going to be done for the night with him. I think I already have all the parts out. I just have to put them together. Um, but, yeah, Gundam's pretty cool. I'm really pretty cool. looking forward to finishing my grays. I don't know. Uh, pretty cool. Probably going to build the Sananju next. Just because I feel like he's probably going to build quickly because he's tiny. Oh, Maybe. you're... you're SD. Oh, yeah. I guess those are supposed to only take like 30 minutes or something. And then I'll build my uh, my sniper, even though I bought him first. Yeah. But then you want to get the uh, the big gun, Zaku, right? Yes. So, my, I think my plan... I'm going to buy Stumpy Guy. Because he's like 11 bucks. Oh, sweet. Um, But yeah, Too my sweet. long-term plan is to buy a bigger Sinanju. Um... Like a one one hundredth scale? Uh, I'm not gonna spend. That's my whole thing with this, and I think you're the same way. This we're gonna probably get B grades. Maybe I I think the most I'm ever gonna spend on a model is maybe fifty bucks. I would spend fifty on one, yeah. And it has to be a model I really. Well, my big gun is forty something. Yeah, I think he's I think he's forty seven. I think he's almost fifty. Forty two. Forty two. He's forty two ninety nine at that store. Right. Uh, and their prices are good. Yeah, so, about the same as Amazon. And, uh, yeah, like, their prices are great, actually. The owner's a super nice dude. Hopefully we'll have him on the Nerdy Show eventually. Yeah. Maybe that's uh, what we'll call it, the Nerdy Show. The ner I'm sure that's never been done Yeah, that's before. taken, I'm sure. Actually, I think there's a... Yeah, um, someone in Orlando, they do the Nerdy Show. Huh. I have a sticker or something. I picked it up at Megacon. It's like a Ninja Turtle style logo. This is the nerdy show. But oh, and I also want to get the Zaku Goof, Galf, whatever. Galf Goof. Uh, I want to get that gold frame astray. I almost got. Did you see the green one? Yeah. I almost got that today. Yes. Yeah. Thirty. I'm gonna have enough green with my Zaku's though. That's why. All the kits that I looked at that I wanted, like immediately when I first saw them. We're all purple today. And I was like, oh, yeah. my other one's already purple. Yeah. Which I may cus do a custom paint job on. I'm not sure. Because I don't know if I'm going to like the character. So I hate to paint it and then find out that like, oh, he's, he turns into a badass. I really like some of the custom stuff I've seen on the sniper guy. That's done like the camo paint jobs. Oh, that yeah. so cool. I've seen a bunch of the camo paint jobs on Zaku, which is cool. Zaku's are super versatile, it seems like. I, it's almost like, uh, since we're the nerdy podcast right now, I can go into ev everything. Even like the orcs. I mean, not quite as bad. like, But it seems like... They're way more brute force, which is why I like them, because that's kind of my mentality, too. But like, as far as like their... I mean, obviously, a red Zaku was not going to go faster. Actually, the Psycho Zaku. So, yeah. Point made. He, the other guy was faster, I thought. Well, yeah, but the Psycho Zaku was faster than all the other ones they had in their fleet. Oh, yeah, that, and that's one thing I don't understand about Gundam, is they treat some of these things like they're incredible. So I can't help but wonder if, like, Psycho Zaku and uh, whatever the guy was flying in Thunderbolt, the Gundam, are they, like, so unique that they're just that powerful in a world where I just thought 
everybody flew a Gundam? Yeah, we have a lot of questions. Yeah. And a lot of questions we don't even have yet that need to be answered. Minor spoiler for first episode of Iron Blooded Orphans. They're all using the uh, workers, the mobile workers, mobile workers, and then when Barbados pops up out of the ground, it's like God. Yeah. Like, wh- okay, you guys built it. Where the fuck did you get the parts? Like, why is this such a big deal? They didn't build it. They found it. Oh, okay. It's three hundred years they old. They fixed it though. Yeah, they did fix it, and they keep getting parts for it. Spoiler. Like they keep getting parts. Like where? There's. I don't know. I didn't pay that much attention. I was building. There might just be a lot of plot holes. It's Could anime. Be. But, yeah, we don't know a lot about Gundam. I'm looking forward to learning more. Me too. There's a lot to learn, that's for sure. That's what I, one thing I do like in a hobby. Um, it's easy to find out. Yeah. We need to find a way to get access to English dub because we're... Oh, I can hear them now. Oh, I, I give no fucks. I like English yeah, me dub. Either. Yeah. I now what um we gotta we gotta figure out what that guy's name is. I can't remember. I feel so bad he's he might be listening to this, and I'm sorry, Mr. Gundam from Japan guy. But he was right though. The Japanese voice actors like if I understood Japanese, like I would love to like they're more into it. But I the thought Iron Blood and Orphans better. was very good. The I voice acting isn't terrible feeling. in it. There are some things I'm just like, I don't... Like the whole... And it's a thing, it's a trope throughout all of anime. The, like, perversion. Yeah, that's one reason I'm not big in anime. Like, it's like, what? It's so it's weird. weird. It's really well, weird. It's like, today when we were sitting at the shop, did you hear what they were saying about whatever... Uh, no. He likes little girls. There there was some kind of discussion in the anime about he likes little girls. Oh, yeah, I kind of heard that. So why why does he like you or something? It was some girl was trying to get close to the the main bad guy, good guy, whatever. And uh, they're like, oh, he only likes little girls. It's like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, why is that in there? Well, if you want, you'll get to it. Um, I don't know if all the girls are just super short and look like children in Iron-Blooded Orphan. But, okay. Um, Galeo's sister gets married off to huh. somebody. I can't remember the guy's name. I know who he is. And that could be just a cultural thing in that universe. Yeah. And I mean, it's, you know, it's what it is, I guess. It's anime. That's kind of my answer to everything with it. It's anime. Yeah. And I, I'm, I've never been the biggest fan of anime in general. I got some that I like. Oh, yeah, I have a list. It's not the longest list. And I tell you right now, Helsing's, on, Helsing's number one. Helsing's always been my favorite anime. So, something that bugs the shit out of me about Gundam. Why are there no good board games? There's... Oh, I want to get... I want to get that Gundam Dynasty Warriors now. Oh, yeah. Holy shit. Didn't you say that's still really expensive? Yeah, I think it was. Oh. Well, uh, buy it anyway. See. No, you can. Our Patreon no. supporters, after they get my shoes, they'll buy your Dynasty Warrior game. Oh, my God. seventy two ninety nine. I was about to say $80. Damn, I was close. Oh, 1000 for Gundam 3. Woo. Oh, my God. I got to go on eBay for that. Yeah, I really want that now. That would be a cool game. Uh, we could do a Let's Play on it. Yeah? But we there is Gundam uh, uh, Versus on the PS4. I right. have an Xbox One. That neither one of us have a PS4. Yeah. Okay, you can get cheaper ones on eBay. And I do not even have an Xbox One. No, you have a 360 somewhere. Yep, it's out in the garage. Yeah, I'm going to be buying Gundam Dynasty Warriors this weekend. Good. Uh, well, if it works on the Xbox One, we'll have to find out. Oh, yeah. But, yeah, that Gundam... Uh, and it, what was kind of nice about watching that Gundam Versus trailer was they went through and showed every character in it. Although I don't think they showed every single one, so there was a couple... That yeah, was... you did point out there were a couple obvious missing like, ones. Yeah, like 
Wing Zero from Endless Waltz was not in it, but they showed him fighting tall geese, which, I mean, that's the main Gundam from Gundam Wing, so. Right. Which I know that, because I watched it on Toonami. Uh, but yeah, that was nice watching that, because then when we went to the Gundam store, I recognized a lot more of them. Right. Uh, we did get a recommendation from a guy in there to watch Gundam Double O, so I'm going to check that out. Yeah, that was a cool guy. Yeah. I was able to help him out, tell him what one of the symbols meant. Yeah, the alternate peace symbol. Yeah. So that was cool. I didn't feel completely useless. Which and... it was great, because like five seconds later, I came across it that in my instructions and I was like what the hey what was that because <laughs> yeah. I have a piece that I can get that I, 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 it can go good lord it can go on my piece that makes him a commander I definitely yeah. just put him on there and the guy on the cover the grace no the pilot I think he's a commander I think he I think it, he's a big shot I know that certainly seemed implied he was like the oldest in that area or in that squad. And I... If I remember right, he wasn't... Like, he's one of the bad guys, but he wasn't, like... He's just one of those guys doing his job, I think. That's what it seemed like, because the, the one guy that was killing everybody, he was yelling at him to just stop. Right. Uh, I think he was also the one that was saying, like, if so-and-so had just done their job, we wouldn't have to be killing all these people, and... Right, yeah, cause um, I I saw somewhere on, it was on Facebook. Don't yo no don't sand things on the fucking microphone. I'm Good working. Lord, I'm working. Sand things later. You can't do that. You'll learn. Turn that, that way and do it then. Get it away from the microphone. Nah. I said I'm building. They heard me say it. That's it's picking up. Okay, I'm building. The Nerdy Podcast. Oh, right. Uh, and I'm building this and going the fuck to bed, so. Well, I'm recording this and editing it and going the fuck to bed. I might not edit this tonight. Fuck it, it's Saturday. I'm on step you don't five know. out of seven. Huh? Now move it on to six. Because you got to finish them. You have to polish the pieces after I you sand I didn't even know what you were doing. Huh? You're going through the steps of sanding. Yeah. You have to polish and shine and make sure especially because it's one of those blue translucent pieces I was talking about that I wanted to make sure and this is a very visible spot like we were talking about the great engineering sometimes I think they can put where they're connected to the to the sprues yeah. a little better and this is a very visible spot and there's like there's, it's also sometimes some of the pieces could have just not been separate they could have just been put together yeah there are a couple of those too which I mean <clears throat> I'm sure once you get to like the high not high grades the master grades and stuff I bet you run into that a lot more I don't know I bet you it's worse you're probably putting apart you're probably putting the sprues together yeah that's what I'm talking <laughs> about like a lot of extra pieces okay but as I'm building these I'm like some of these could be separate yeah um especially when I got to the legs on the la on the mm -hmm. um Camaris Vidar this is the first one I bought. Um, the legs, I thought, were just kind of big and bulky and just big pieces. I'm like, yeah, yeah. these could have been separated, and I wouldn't have minded. But, I mean, they did have, in, like, the knee were uh, special caps because he has a drill that comes out of the knee for close combat. Actually, all of his... terrifying. Yeah, all of his stuff is close combat. He didn't come with a gun or anything. Huh. He's got a lance. He's got a... We don't. A giant... Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, the lance... The That's lance funny, I'm funny. Had, that was Lance line. <laughs> um, I take that back. He had, the on the side of the lance, he had two rockets that could launch <laughs> Okay, it. rocket lance. And uh, the two shields he has that come off of his back have two into there and launch. But besides that, he had the lance... A katana-like sword. Cool. Um, which, I want to see what it looks like in the show, because it's just one solid color, and I don't think it should be. I hope it's not like that in the show. Like, I hope there's a metal color to it. And then, um, 
I think that's it. That's all there's, a, there's also a samurai Gundam I want. I can't think of the name right off the top of my head. It was pretty badass. There I, are a lot of incredible looking Gundam. I want the one we saw in his case at Gundam from Japan with that the chrome sword with the kat- like katana. It had to do with white. I think I know what you're talking with about. With the red uh, like chrome plates. Right. Um, That's probably one of those, not titanium, but yeah, just chrome. Yeah. I think they were pretty expensive. Yeah. And um, these translucent parts are pretty easy, but I don't know about cutting, though, the, the yeah, uh, chrome. Yeah, he was talking parts. about that with someone else. Yeah, well, was he? There was somebody yeah. that was going to buy it and was researching and researching and got scared away from buying something like that. Yeah, see, I don't know. I'd have to get, like, the cheapest one I can find just to try it first. Or get the $86 snippers. No. <laughs> I never. That's not going to happen. Yeah, that's a thing, $86 snippers. If that ever... Good Lord. Like, if it ever comes down to I have to get those, I'm done. Like, <laughs> all right, yeah. I guess I'm not building anymore. Yeah, if it ever comes down to I have to buy $25 snippers, I'm done. Uh, those... <laughs> If it be, if this becomes a thing and I'm doing it all the time, and they if I can see a video that proves to me that they're better than my five dollar ones right here, um, okay, you know I could spend twenty five dollars on a tool. I mean I don't want to, I don't plan on it, but like I said, if I'm building these, like if I'm turning these out, like if I'm literally doing this every day, and it would make my life easier, yeah I, I'll. I'll get a $25 pair. But at this point, not a chance. I had to think about getting this $5 pair. Like, I held it in my hand, and I was like, I got a pair. Do I need these? They're $70 on Amazon. Are they? Why are you people spending this much money on nippers? What they need is, because they, you know, they look like little tiny, they're like wire cutters almost. They're they they're made to get a. What were these actually called? They're called side cutters, flush cutters. Also, they give you just a flat cut. But what they need is there. There's a slight angle to them. I would say probably thirty degrees. They need ones that are that can give you a ninety degree cut. Because some of the sprues and parts, the way they're attached, if you could get in there, like if you can just come straight down and cut, it would be so much easier. Yeah. You don't really want to, I guess you could do it with an X-Acto knife, but still you run a risk of cutting yourself. Or if you don't have a cutting board, you know, cutting up the table you're working on. I guess you should have a cutting board. I should have a cutting board. But I just cut the shit out of my tables I work on. <laughs> There's got to be a better way of doing it. I've, yeah. I've been looking. But if you know, if you have any suggestions, comment down below. And yes, I have cut the sprue and then used my X-Acto knife to cut the part out. But I'm still not happy with those results. I can never spend that much money on a little tool. No way. The 25 or the... Both. 25 I can do. Nope. Like, if it's going to make my life easier... And I'm, and I'm doing it all the time, like I said. I could do that. Wrong. But, nope. Wrong. Hell Hydra. Wrong. Hell Hydra. Wrong. It's Leaks. Wrong. Yeah. <laughs> it's not that kind of show. No. Uh, mm. So, yeah, I think we're going to keep building Gundam. Maybe we'll do a Gundam build video. We we're going to do that today, but we didn't. Uh, we just started building. Yeah, you took some photos, and I mean, we can take more photos as I'm yeah, building. Yeah, and the photos will be up on Instagram, best underscore and underscore the underscore realm. I should have taken some while I was there. Uh, those also go up on Twitter and Facebook. Yeah, that's good. Check out our photos. Uh, so I have, um, we need. We should probably put the photos up of uh, my Camaras. Yeah, Absolutely. And then you can see my uh, hanger as well that I'm yeah. working on. So we want to wrap up Gundam? Uh, yeah, because, I mean, we really... All, all we know is we like building the kits. Yeah. We don't know much about the lore. We don't know much about the... 
And I will find out about the lore, because that's, that's where I'd like to we hang out. We don't know shit, guys. I'm looking forward <laughs> to learning about it. Uh, yeah, me too. If we can find it in English. So, Brian, I'm going to do you a favor. What's that? You're going to give me those shoes? I, I tweeted Marty's girl <laughs> asking him for a pair of shoes so you would stop talking about them. Oh, thank God. Um, well, Marty, get back to me. Uh, I'm going to let you talk about drones. Okay. You can drone on about drones. All right. If you even want to talk about drones forever. That was part of today's trip. We went to uh, the B-dubs. B-dubs. Which was delicious. Buffalo Wild Wings. Love that place now. I want to uh, go there more often. I want to live there. Your first trip. Uh, I've been there a handful of times. Um, Incredible wings. And we went on Chicken Wing Day. Yeah, National Chicken Wing Day, apparently. I thought the waitress was fucking with us. So did I. I was <laughs> like, yeah, that's bullshit. I thought that already happened this year. Because the radio show I listen to likes to talk about the National Whatever Day. Which are ridiculous most of the time. But I like yeah. it. It's funny. They also do that in the Philip DeFranco vlog. Oh, okay. I, I haven't watched that stuff in a long time. I miss, I miss Philip DeFranco. He's great. It's very, very good vlog. Um, but yet, I have also, like I mentioned earlier, I've gotten into drone racing. And I thought I was just getting into drones in general. And I got a Parrot AR 2.0 drone it kind of has it just has two cameras on it uh, it's cool for taking some video the video is not the greatest it takes 720 um i don't know what the bottom camera does i don't think it's, it's quite as high but Probably it takes 480 maybe it just takes a straight down shot and i got it and i flew it a couple times you fly it with your phone you get the app record straight from the app it's very user friendly but i was like this is fun i mean it's fun to fly around but it wasn't, wasn't very responsive, and it just wasn't what I was really looking for. So almost immediately, I found drone racing after I spent the money on this drone. And Did you the, also buy another one and immediately break it? Oh, no. It, the guy sold it to me. It was broken. Oh, The okay. guy sold me two, of the, two drones, two camera drones, the AR-1, and then another one that's more like a toy that's... I think they sell it on, like, HSN or something. It looks like a piece of junk. Uh, yeah, it's... I mean, it's still, like, 200 bucks. Wow. Yeah. So, I got, like, five... Like, if they're brand new, $500 worth of drones for 100 bucks. Maybe you can use that other one for parts. And there's... Circuits and shit. There's not a lot of parts to use. Hmm. That's unfortunate. And there's nothing I can do to fix it. I couldn't figure out how to fix it. It won't bind to the remote. But it's so cheap. Like, I don't even know. Like, it's so cheaply made. But... <clears throat> So I immediately found drone racing after I spent all my money, all my extra money on that. Actually, it was my Father's Day gift to myself. <laughs> was I got myself two drones. And like always, buyer's remorse regretted it immediately. And then uh, so I was looking around. I was like, okay, racing drones. These look cool. They're expensive. I don't know if I'm going to be able to afford this. They also have the, the little ones. That oh. are kind of racing drones. You could at least play with them. Oh, yeah. The, uh... The, I, tiny whoops. Tiny whoops. The micro drones. That's what I'm interested in. Um, luckily, they're they're fairly cheap. Yeah. Uh, especially if you do it, like, in sections like I'm doing. Like, I bought a E-010 Eashin little tiny drone, um... The drone itself is like $13, and it comes with a remote and everything, and you just fly it around your house. It's great, and it's tiny. And then I just ordered a set of five batteries, because the battery only lasts for like 10 minutes or something, if you're lucky. Which is pretty good if you're playing yeah. around. Yeah, it's pretty good. How long good. does it charge? Um, an hour. You fly around for a little bit. It's USB charger. You plug it in. Isn't one of them you can like fly it for twenty minutes and it takes six hours to charge or something like that? Probably, probably Phantom or something. I Those, don't remember because the batteries have to be um, balanced charged, so they they have to be it charging the whole thing. Oh wow! There's a lot. Like even yeah, even the simplest thing like charging for these drones are pretty involved. How is there not a Gundam drone? 
You need to just attach a Gundam to the parrot. There might be one. Actually, there's some sort, some crate service that's coming out this month. It's their first one. And if you you get a Iron Man drone, <laughs> it's a Golden Iron Man Comic Con exclusive, but it comes in this box, which doesn't make any sense. I don't think they understand what those words mean. And, uh, yeah, it's got, like, the double propeller on top. Uh, one of my favorite little drones like that, little helicopter-like toy, came out. You used to be able to get them at Spencer's. Um, it had the double blade on top, like the old like the old toy helicopter. And they were made out of foam. And this one, the body was made out of foam, too. But the foam just said, fuck. So it was a flying fuck. <laughs> Wow. And I want it so bad. I just saw a video of it the other day again. I'm like, I, I missed out. <laughs> it is, it's a literal flying fuck. That's thing. amazing. Yeah. That's like all the toy stores that have the flying pigs. It's not as funny, but you know. Yeah, not fly. nearly as funny. <laughs> but also, mine is not really appropriate for a toy store. No. But they did sell them at Spencer's. I don't know if you can still get them. But anyway, racing drones. Um... We live in Citrus County, like we've mentioned. You mentioned. Yeah. Uh, my you can address. Stop mentioning. My my address is. Um, but so I looked on Facebook and I was like, I I'm always looking for Facebook groups. I'm in like eight trillion of them. Yep. And I'm like, I is and I've started a lot too. Yeah, you have a Facebook group for every hobby, basically. <laughs> and um, I was like, I guarantee you, there's not a Citrus County racing group already. Damn, was I wrong. You were super wrong, too. Uh, I won't go super wrong, but I was pretty wrong. They're, like, legit. They're pretty legit. Um, So I find them, and I'm like, oh, hey, cool. Let me uh, check them out. They invited me to come out and watch them uh, practice. And luckily for us, we have the only... Actually, just as I was starting... Our county commissioner, Jimmy Smith, I think his name is, uh, announced that one of the parks, uh, about, I'm not going to give you a location on this. Nope. Um, close to my house, now an official drone racing park. And you don't know which side of the park is the official one. (laughs) It might be the whole thing, I don't know. But it's, um... It's the only one in Florida. So, this is the only place in Florida that is officially for drone racing. I don't know if there's, like, drone flying parks anywhere. I know there's, like, RC fields for, like, airplanes and helicopters and stuff. But this is the only place for drone racing specifically. But you can fly phantoms and stuff there. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's, it's not like you have to go in and register or anything. It's just a park that's just, like... You're allowed to fly your drone here. You're allowed to race drones here. Which is cool, because some people do get freaked out when they see drones and stuff. Yeah, my mom does. Yeah, like, I don't... I mean, I sort of get it, I guess, but... It's just the fear of not knowing what the hell that thing is. (laughs) Yeah. I mean... And they're probably fearful of it for the completely wrong reason. They're like, oh, it's spying on me, or you're gonna take my picture, or some shit like that. Shoot me with a Hellfire missile. Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> or they think it's some military thing that that'll kill them. But really, only thing you got to be scared of is don't get close to those fucking propellers. They'll tear your ass up. Um, I've seen video. I haven't done it. I don't plan on doing it. But there are. <laughs> there's video. But yeah, so like we're allowed to race there. So I went out and I watched them race a couple times. I mean, they weren't really racing, but they had their gates up and they were practicing and stuff. They're super fucking good and really, really fast. And uh, these things just sound like a fucking jet when they, they do. take off. It's so cool. Um, but I, ne- I didn't have one. I, I just couldn't afford one. They're pretty expensive. Even the the lowest end one is like a hundred and something bucks. But then you have to get all your other stuff, and it's it's a it's super expensive hobby. But, like, my third, second or third time out there, one of the guys in the group was just like, hey, do you want a drone? I'm like, well, yeah. I was planning on going to Orlando to get one from a guy. It was used, and it was still 
like, well, do you want one? And I told him, so yeah, I'm going to go get one. He's like, no, do you want one? Like, well, I mean, yeah, what do you want for it? And he just gave me one of his extra racing drones. And I was like, well, that's awesome. And he's like, well, I don't have an extra transmitter for you, which is the remote. And the guy who runs the whole group, he's like, I got an extra transmitter. So I ended up getting a transmitter and my racing drone for free. And, I mean, I've, I've found the logo and stuff, but it's not like I'm... And you're going to make gates, right? Yeah, I've got... Uh, I still need to buy the PVC to make them. But I bought material to make uh, banners for the gates. I'm gonna, I mean, I'm going to help the group out as much as I can. I went down as, like, an ambassador to Tampa the other day, last week. Right. So... <clears throat> Do you still have cool. all those uh, foam noodles from LARPing? No. Is that what you're uh, going to end up using? But they have. Right. I'm just making the banners with no foam on them. Oh, really? I thought yeah. you had to put some kind of foam. No. I mean, that's really so you can see see it. That's not so... Oh, uh, they it weren't using it for protection. They were using it Because for... it, it kind of goes straight through that stuff. Like, it looks like oh, it protected. Oh, fair enough. Yeah. But, like, uh, a prop would just eat it. Eat it yeah. alive. Yeah. So, so yeah, I got hooked the fuck up, and the guy's like, oh, here's a battery you can borrow, and here's some can learn to fly um, FPV, and everyone's like, oh, here, uh, make sure you're flying in acro mode, and all this other stuff, and make sure you're learning the right way, and one of the other guys was like, here, let me borrow, let me take your drone home so I can get it all set up for you, make sure all the trims and everything are correct, and, uh... So I picked it up the next day and been flying it a little bit. Still flying a lot more in the simulator because it's safe. Yeah. And I don't break it. Last time I took it out because the ESCs were going to catch on fire. What's an ESC? The electronic speed control. Okay. And that's the part that runs from the flight controller to the motors to tell it how fast to spin. Gotcha. And my rear ones would heat up so fast and so hot almost immediately after plugging the battery in but luckily they were able to give me some pointers and I was able to fix it and I just got my own battery so now I can give the guy back his and now I have to order my own set of goggles but they're like 40 bucks so that's I'll get those soon and I have parts coming for my tiny whoop to turn it into a chiny whoop some people call them so racist. Some people call them tiny whoops, like tiny whoop, but they're the Chinese version. Right, so you're not the originator. You're not racist. This was what it's called. Some people call it that. I don't know if it's racist <laughs> or not. If it is, I'm sorry. It's from China. I'm sorry, but Terry. It's funny. But yeah, my camera's on its way, so I'm gonna solder a camera onto it. I think the camera's like fifteen dollars. The batteries. As much as a Gundam. For like fifteen dollars, much as a Gundam, and don't do this. <laughs> and the uh, the modular, so I can use my transmitter on the Chinese Whoop was another like eight bucks. Half of a Gundam, or one of those or dusty old Gundams that we saw in the back, the ones with like the dome heads and the claws. Those were oh like eight yeah, bucks. I like them. <clears throat> I, I like them a lot. I wouldn't mind getting some of those, like not those, but like that style. Yeah. As long I think they're still one forty fourth. And uh for like army building for the game. Yeah. Which we need to look into the rules of that, because that looked pretty cool. It's called what skirmish? Yeah, gun mobile suit gundam skirmish. So yeah, all that drone and B dubs, they were what they had a uh, uh, DRL. DRL. Yeah, we asked them if we saw a DRL was on luck I got so yeah. lucky. Well you had said like Boy, I wish DRL was on ESPN, and it was <laughs> on the screen, one well, of the TVs that I could see, one of the 30 fucking TVs. Yeah, right behind like, dude, me. Dude, look! And it was on. Yeah. I was like, oh, I bet that's just a commercial or something. Nope, sure enough, World Finals was on. Yeah, just to switch it to the TV where we could see, and... Yeah. Uh, and, uh... Yeah, I guess uh, Nurk must have got taken out. Uh, semifinals, but that's alright. Uh, and yeah, spoiler, Jet wins... Yeah, that was pretty cool. We got to see the finals. That yeah, man, it was that a stuff is crazy. Cathedral. To watch. Yeah, that was pretty neat. That is, just, they had to do loops and all kinds of shit. But yeah, Jet, uh, two-time 
DRL champion. He's the only person to win a DRL championship. He's it twice in a row. <laughs> He's hogging it all. Yeah. Next year they're going to be like, fuck off. Jet, get the fuck out. He is just so good, though. Like, the only way to beat Jet is to wait for him to mess up. And they are regulated, right? They all fly the same drone. Yeah, all have the same drone. The only thing that's different is the color of the LEDs. He's just somehow better at piloting. Yeah. And there is some luck to it, but it's almost all... It is almost all skill. There's... There is... But I still think there's a little luck to it. I gotta imagine it's a bit like NASCAR, because there's... It's a, and, like, taking turns a certain way, and... Oh, yeah. Um, my boss told me once... Races are won in the corners because his daughter used to race uh, amateur motocross. Right. Like, internationally, because they race in Canada, so that's international. Um, but, yeah, so he like he understands racing. And he's like, yeah, races are won in the corner. I'm like, yeah, well, that's the one thing I can't do in my drone, so I can't turn. By the way, flying drones is really, really hard. Yeah. Once you when, when you're starting out. It's really fucking hard. I still need to get you to try the simulator. Like yeah. That. And I'll probably let you fly this drone after you try the simulator for a little bit. Yeah, I'll say that for a little bit, a little bit. But, yeah, it's, it's fun. But it's just hard. It's really hard. <laughs> Seems like it. Like, I can go in a straight line. Yeah, turning. Turning's pretty tough. You have so many different axes that you're working on at the same time. It's not like driving a car. Like a PC game joystick? <laughs> I'll be totally into that. You'd have to have two. Really? Yeah. Because there there's, there's two joysticks, basically. Yeah. You have to have two. One controls your throttle and your yaw. Throttle is how much power your motor's putting out, basically. Yeah. And your yaw is, like, spin. You have oh, your spin. Oh, I have a joystick like this? Yeah. Yeah, there's, I have a joystick that would do that. Okay. And you have your throttle. Yeah, it has that. Okay. But then you have your pitch, which is how far forward or how far backwards. Yes, yeah, that, that's on the joystick. And you have your roll. Yeah. Which is side to side. Why is no one flying drones with joysticks? I don't know. I, I, I'm going to do it. Not. <laughs> Not that clever. Am I that clever? <laughs> you have to find one that can transmit wireless. Yeah, transmit a signal on a specific. I don't. I don't know frequency. if there are any wireless. There probably are. Then how would we change the frequency? I don't know. Hell if I out. know. I, I think it'd be it interesting though. Yeah, it'd make flying a fuck ton easier. It sounds like. Yeah. Yeah, because my old Logitech joystick does all those things. I mean, I, I fly helicopters in Battlefield. <laughs> Apparently, RC helicopters are fucking difficult as well. I, I think anything in RC is difficult. RC cars are easy. Yeah, I used to drive those too. Like, I have a RC drift car. One-tenth scale drift car. That would be pretty fun. It's fun as fuck. But the thing is, is there's no one here. Yeah. Like, I have to go to, like, fucking Miami... Yeah, drones are like the new hot thing. Yeah. And, like, there's... Miami I mean, and you're just going to get stolen. <laughs> they're going to steal the rims off my RC car. Yeah. That'd be pretty funny. <laughs> I'd be so pissed. Oh, speaking of that, though. I, when I was at the Drake... The, 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 the Drace. The, the Drake drone race. race. <laughs> the Drake race. It's a Drace. It's a drone race. <laughs> they clone Drace. Um, there's, a, there's pro and novice class, and the novice class tied for first. And I, I thought this was great. I hope they do this all the time. And this is right now is okay. to do this and win. But to decide who wins first, because the way the races work is uh, they have two minutes, and whoever completes the most laps, that's how many, well, if you complete so many laps, you get so many points. Because uh, most people end up crashing. So if you complete, you know, three laps, you get three points. Um if you go through the start-finish gate and then the timer goes off, you get an opportunity to finish that lap. And if you finish it, you get that point. Okay. Um, but what they were doing for the final, to for the tiebreaker, 
they said they were having a props race. And I was like, all right, I don't know what that means, but it sounds exciting. So basically, they still had two minutes. person with the most laps wins. And if they completed the same amount of laps, the first person to finish wins. It gets to take first, and the other person takes second. Okay. But it's a prop race because the person who takes second has to surrender his props to the winner. His Not propellers. Not the drone, yeah, just the propellers. And I was like, that is awesome. And it had to be, like, ceremoniously kneeling down, handing your propellers over to the winner, which I thought was great. Like, I was like, that's that's my goal in life, is to win and to, like, make a necklace out of the fucking props I want or something. Like, props? Yeah. So, I saw that. And then the guy who won, uh, who took first, got moved up to the pro rankings. So I think they're still trying to balance out how many people are in which one. And a, I think there were a lot of people there, but apparently they told me a lot of people got scared off because of the weather. Oh, bad weather lately. Yeah, I mean, we're in hurricane season. Yeah. But hurricane season is half, half the fucking year, so. Tell the pro wrestling, all the outdoor pro wrestling shows that. Yeah. We're in hurricane season. Uh, that's from another episode, which you should go listen to, because this one's over. Unless you got something else to say. Is it? Well, I, had, I, I thought I was going to. Because I was looking up uh, synonyms for villain, so we can figure out a name for this. Okay. Go ahead. All right, here we go. Um, go ahead. Oh, and I have to think of them on the spot. Um, what is the... I thought you looked them up. No, no, I'm looking at it, but we need two words. You can't just be, like, the low lowlifes. Like, I mean, we could, but... Um, Villain, evil person, anti-hero, blackguard, brute, hey. creep. That's terrible. That's, let's not <laughs> We're use the creeps. that one. Uh. Um, no, but there's a good one on here. I want to... What are some other words for, like, nerd, geek? Um, uh, creep. <laughs> <laughs> Could be. Uh, the geeky scoundrels. Uh... Uh, Rapscallions. Uh, Rats. What, the Rapscallion podcast? What, what does that mean? Ra- these are sy- uh, synonyms for villain. Rapscallions. Is it rap or rat? Rap. Okay. With a P. Rap and then scallion like an onion? Yeah. Exactly. We're the rap and onions. You We're for off- rap of the rapper. Name off some of these things. Talk to the audience. I, I, I'll be right back. Criminal. <laughs> The smooth criminals, uh, devil, uh, evil doer, heel, which we've already used, libertine. Did it really say heel? Yeah, That's heel. Awesome. Well, just like in uh, the Gr- how the Grinch stole Christmas. You're a mean one, Mr. Grinch. You truly are a heel. Huh. Uh, libertine, which I never knew what that word meant. I've heard it a few times, but uh, I was I thought I knew what it meant, but. Now I'm, I know for sure. Offender. We don't really offend anybody. I don't think we're that offensive. Like, we're semi-offensive, but we're not that offensive. Uh, Rapscallion. Rascal. Don't want to be the fucking rascals. Uh, scoundrels. Sinners. I mean, probably, but this, that kind of gives the wrong impression about the podcast. Wretch. Yeah, you know, maybe. Not really. I hope not. Are we? Are we wretched? I don't think we're wretched. Give it more or less. Um, crooks. Oh my god, are you still Jeez. going? <laughs> I'm still going, yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. Um, <laughs> I'm so sorry. They left you with this strange man. I'm back. I actively went, we need an adult. <laughs> um, so I'm sitting here... Going through the list. There are no, like, center. Like, it was like, that kind of gives the wrong impression of the podcast. A Twitter account called What You Gonna Do followed me. Nice. That's weird. Oh, that's awesome. What you gonna do? I don't know. Fall him back. <laughs> Brother. <laughs> when UAV Futures run wild on you. I, UAV Futures is a great drone YouTube. So this has been the Future YouTube. Heels podcast. Sort of. It is. I mean, it's us. 
It's still the components of the Future Heels pot. We talked about wrestling. We did, but... We met all... We met... We met all the criteria. And then yeah. we took it a step further. Oh, Punk. Rogue. Scamp. Sprite. Wait, so Troll. what are you implying? We should call, like, Future Crooks or Future Punks or... Them wrongdoers. Future Zaku. Future Zeon. We're not gonna do Gundam all the time. Future Team Rockets. Oh, you like that? <laughs> Who likes a Team Rocket? This has been the Future Heels podcast. <laughs> Squeaky breaks again because eh, you can of. find us on futurevillains.com. You can find us on iTunes. You can find us on YouTube. You can find Desperados. me. You can find me on Twitter at Best in the Realm. Hijacker. What are you on Twitter? Cool again? No. <laughs> At Brightman25. Uh, on Instagram, Brightman1138. Uh, find everything else on futurevillains.com. Yeah, so you can find... Uh, Racketeer. Dude. Dude. <laughs> Ravager. This is the last episode because you're going to die. <laughs> Hold That's up. not a confession of guilt. Uh, so I have... Two new series out this week. We're doing an arc. We're uh, introducing the Poo Fighters. Shysters. Future Poo Fighters. Uh, we're also continuing the Division I'll series. Quit. I'll quit this job. Where we're going after O.J. Simpson because he's on the loose. Uh, I some of my proudest, wells. Some of my proudest YouTube titles are up right now. Yellow dog. Toad. So check us out. Good Thank for you for nothing. listening, guys. Let us know if you like this nerdy podcast. Prince of Darkness. Sith. Sith. Mm-hmm. Whoa. <laughs> this is gone. Whoo. Diablo. Jin. Monster. Oh, Rogue. Scamp. Scoundrel. The Dickens. 